people on Deontay and on the Bronze yeah. Bomber. It's like, that's all very well. If you start believing that shit, that's when something bad can happen <laughs> for your career because you're not in the moment. You're, you've lost the plot, right? And there is a real chance that he has lost the plot here because I think he's made some poor career decisions. I think he doesn't really know what he's doing or has he really got hold of his career? Does he know what's going on behind the scenes? He started saying all this stuff about killing people. He's talking about himself in the third person, these two people. Like, I'm hoping that he goes out after and goes, do you hear me talking about fucking two different people? This is great. <laughs> but I, I'm not sure. I think maybe he is even saying to like his friends, going, OK, I'm back now, I'm Deontay. And they're like, going, all right, mate. Well, like, yeah. yeah, so... <laughs> If he is, if he is, you know, I always think that I mean, unless you you've got to stay mentally stable mm-hmm. as a fighter and as an athlete, because once you start believing your own hire, and I say this to AJ all the time, and he's probably one of the few people that I really believe won't go down that road. But once, if AJ start again, yeah, yeah, like you know, rocking into clubs and like I'm fucking world champ, baby, champagne everywhere. Yeah, 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 it's me too. <laughs> You can forget about it. Something's going to go wrong. Yeah. And things can go wrong anyway. So if that's happened to Wilder, he's going to be in a really tough fight tonight and he could lose. What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News. And I was letting you guys listen to a interview with Eddie Hearn. And they were asking him his comments about the death threats that Deontay Wilder put upon Dominic Brazil. And... <clears throat> And Eddie approached it like simply he was just trying to sell tickets. The funny thing, Dominic Brazil thought the same thing. Now that, because this was pre-Wilder KO over Brazil. So since the fight's already said and done, it's true. Because if you realized, right after that knockout, Deontay Wilder was good. Deontay Wilder embraced Dominic Brazil, and that just showed you that it was really just to sell tickets. Did he have true beef with Dominic Brazil? Yeah, he did. You know, but I think that Dominic had a more beef with Deontay Wilder versus the other way around. I think Dominic had to prove something to his family versus Deontay Wilder was merely protecting his brother in a situation where it got kind of out of hand. It got out of hand. It didn't, there's no kind of about it. It got out of hand. But um, I think it was to sell tickets. So like Eddie Hearn said, that he just felt he had to say some outrageous things to make that fight sellable, you know? And it was an impressive knockout, you know? Um, I'm just glad it wasn't on pay-per-view, me personally. But... What Eddie Hearn did say did make some sense. You don't want to start believing your own hype or believing that you are two different people. You don't. You don't want to go down that road like, hey, I'm Bronze Bomber today, and then I'm Deontay Wilder tomorrow. You know, because if because like Deontay said himself, hey, you know, if I was walking around as the Bronze Bomber, people would be in trouble. You know, and, and the only thing that I can compare that to is the times when people messed with Mike Tyson and the times Mike Tyson reacted from people's actions. So, and we knew, we know everything and all the incidents that Mike got into outside of the ring, you know, and that's what could be if Deontay Wilder really believes that. But me counterpunching that guys in this interview, I don't think, I think that's just a gimmick. I don't think Deontay Wilder believes that. I don't think he believes he's two different people. I believe that's just something that he says like he has this. The the bronze bomber is like the second notch, right? Or that last notch, that notch that you go to that, you know, that, that, that accelerated level that he can, you know, switch to, to be more aggressive and more, you know, uh, destructive in the ring, you know, but he, plays it as though he is like this Hulk figure, you know, like bronze bomber, you know, bomb squad, you know. And I think that's just really a gimmick. I don't think that he believes half that stuff because as soon as he knocks out those fighters, he's not like someone like Antonio Tarver 
or Jamal Charlo, like those kind of guys that are that after they get the win, they're still like beefing and woofing and you know what I mean? And no, I still don't like you and you know, stuff like that. He's not De Deontay Wilder's not that guy. I don't think he's about that life. I think he wanted to sell the fight, you know, and he did that and he made an impressive knockout. And now therefore he doesn't have a problem with Dominic Brazil. Now, we can't say that about Dominic Brazil because he hasn't made a statement. But as, um, but when he does, I'll be there to report it. You guys tell me what you think about Eddie Hearn's statements. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.